Has this ever happened to you? Well, there might be a solution. This is the Minix Neo Storage Pro, and it's a USB-C hub designed for MacBooks, and it's also an external SSD. Now we're talking. Let me tell you, if I had a nickel for every time I get an email from some company that's selling an adapter that wants to send it to me to review, I'd have 756 million nickels. And here's the thing they're all pretty much the same. There are so many styles and options, it basically just comes down to picking one that has the ports you're looking for. There are two main styles of hub. There's the dingly dongles that have a cord, and then there's the hubs that lay flush on the side of the MacBook. Some of these use two Thunderbolt connections for maximum bandwidth and to allow you to charge through the device. And these are usually faster, more expensive, and generally better if you use multiple features of the hub simultaneously. There's a similarly wide array of external storage options. You can get fast flash drives that plug right into a USB-C port. You can get portable SSDs. You can get portable hard drives, adapters that let you use NVMe drives. There's a ton of options for expanding the ports and the storage on your MacBook. But the point of the Minix Neo Storage Pro is to do both of those. The Minix tries to create a single solution to this by incorporating the hub and the external storage into a single device. So what do we get with this package? Well, the Minix uses two Thunderbolt connections, so it's specifically made for 2016 to present MacBook Pros and the 2018 generation MacBook Air. Sorry, 12 inch MacBook. We get a full-size HDMI port that can output 4K60, a USB 3.0 port, and a Thunderbolt 3 port that supports charging for the device you're connecting it to. This is important because if you have a MacBook Pro or Air that only has two Thunderbolt 3 ports, you're gonna be taking both of them up with this adapter, so you still wanna be able to charge the device. That's why they have that. And crucially, built into the enclosure is a 480 gigabyte M.2 SSD. The SSD is not blazing fast compared to an internal drive. It gets about 400 megabytes per second read-write speeds, but it's definitely solid compared to lugging around an external hard drive. Personally, I think the Neo Storage Pro is a little bit light on the ports to be considered a true versatile USB-C hub. If it were up to me, I would add another USB 3.0 port, an SD card slot, and maybe an ethernet port, but that might be wishful thinking considering the small size and the integrated SSD. But there is one more issue that I think is pretty major, and that is the price. The Minix Neo Storage Pro hasn't officially launched yet, but the starting price looks to be about $175 US. That's a steep price considering what we're getting here. Sure, this is undoubtedly a convenient solution. Pop it into a 128 gigabyte MacBook Air or Pro, and you've literally quintupled the storage but I'm not sure it's the best value overall. You can grab a 500 gigabyte Samsung T5 external storage device for about hundred bucks, and then you can also grab a fully loaded out HDMI, USB, SD card, ethernet, USB hub for 50 bucks and get a lot more ports and slightly faster storage. To me, that seems like slightly better value, but I'll admit it's not exactly an elegant solution. And that's where the Minix Neo Storage Pro comes in handy. If you don't need a ton of ports, let's say you just wanna plug in a flash drive or you wanna get an HDMI port and you'd also like to have some external storage to expand the internal capacity, this is definitely a compelling and elegant solution to that. If you're willing to pay up for the convenience, it's an interesting prospect, but for most people, I'd recommend saving money even if it means having two dongles. Or hey, you could grab the already popular Minix Neo that has 480 gigabyte SSD, HDMI, a pair of USB 3.0 ports, and costs $129, provided you're willing to put up with that dongly life. So to sum up, I really like the idea of the Minix Neo Storage Pro. I love these flush adapters that don't hang on a wire. I think they're a lot more convenient, a lot more simple, but I really think it needs more ports to be considered a truly versatile solution and to be worth $170.
Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And as usual, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please consider following me on Twitter at Luke Miani and check out my subreddit, which is linked down below if you have any questions. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.